So cloud access software on the marketplace is really useful for a POC type deployment, or if you have a few users and you want to get them up running uh, right away. But in order to deploy our cloud access uh, software from the Google marketplace, uh, you would need to make sure that you uh, have a proper GCP account uh, set up and you're not using a trial account. Um, and the reasoning for that is Google do limit um, access to GPUs uh, on the trial account. So you will not have access to GPUs. We can go ahead and deploy. So what you need to do is go there into compute engine, into VM instances, uh, hit create instance, and then on the sidebar here, you would have Marketplace. So here is where you would search for Terra Adichie. And then you see that there's two versions. We have one for Windows Server 2016, and then we have one for uh, Linux CentOS 7. Um, today, we will only be going through how to deploy Server 2016, um, but the steps to deploy CentOS should be similar, if not identical. So here we have a breakdown of the costs. Um, for us, we charge 50 cents an hour, um, and then we're, this is assuming you're using it for 30 days and running it for 24 hour a day. Um, in general, we don't uh, generally expect users to be using it that uh, intensively. So if you power this off, um, we, will, we will no longer be charging this. Uh, what we need to do is go back up and hit launch on Compute Engine. Here, I would change this and I will give it a friendly name and just uh, first and last initials and then type uh, test work, test WS for test workstation. And the region I want to deploy in is US West. It'd be US West 1B. Um, and out of the box, you can customize, you can pick number of vCPUs and the amount of RAM, um, but I will just leave it as a default for right now. The registration code in this field you can ignore. Um, and the, the, the GPU type we would want is NVIDIA Tesla P4 uh, VWS, which stands for Virtual Workstation. And I only want one of those GPUs, right? And we do put a reminder here to make sure that you do have enough uh, GPUs for the quota and uh, the quota section, as well as we do have a reminder to say, hey, the uh, make sure the GPU type is available in our region. So if I go to click here, if you scroll down to the Tesla, make sure it's the P4. And you can see that it is available in US West 2. So if I scroll up, I pick US West 1, so which is very good because it helped me there. So in US West 2. Right. Um, and here you have to say manually accept and say yes. Um, in terms of uh, the boot disk type, I'll leave it as the default. Uh, networking, I'll leave it on the default VPC. But if you have another VPC you want to deploy into, you can drop down and select the ones you need. Um, as well as we open up uh, these firewall ports just to allow communication with our um, with our software. Um, if you want to do more configuration on IP addresses or uh, things like that, you can go in there and do that. And then all you need to do is hit deploy. And then the software is now deploying. So now that the deployment is completed, we have some additional uh, suggested next steps here, including how to set username and password. Um, as I was uh, setting a static external um, IP address, if, uh, you, if that's your requirement. So if we go back into Compute Engine, to the VM instances, I can see here that I have uh, testws-vm, which was uh, appended upon creation right here. So I need to go and click that and hit Set Windows Password. And it will give you a suggested username. I'm going to call this test user, hit set. And it will generate a random password for you. So what I'll do, I'll click this button so that it gets co copied. And I'll paste this out in another, um, in another text file so I can keep track. If I hit close. So one thing you will need to do is to have the PCIP uh, client installed. Um, I already have the client installed on this machine. But if you don't have it installed, you will need to go to help.teradici.com to download the client installer. And under Cloud Access Plus, if you click View Products, Cloud Access Software, we have software client for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux uh, that you can download right here. So if I just launch the client here, uh, I will put the IP address, which can be, which is right here. Let's copy that and paste here. And this will pop up a warning because 
uh, we we issue a self-signed certificate, um, and this certificate can be changed um, uh, once you have uh, once you have a full deployment going. So I yeah, hit connect and securely here. For the username is test user, and then the password is this. And once you hit enter or you click login, it will start the connection. And as you can see here, now we're logging to Windows here. Uh, first time connections might take a little while as there's some drivers and some uh, Windows um, settings that need to be initialized. And there you go, right? Here's our desktop. So I can maximize the window here or even go view. So yeah, so let's take a look at the spec of this machine, right? So if we run DirectX Diagnostics, say yes to that. And as you can see here, we have two cores, uh, seven and a half gigs of RAM. And on the display, we have a uh, NVIDIA Tesla P4. Cool. I can close that. So now that let's say you're done with the machine, you know, how do I stop Google from charging me for the compute usage? Well, there's two ways really. Uh, you can turn off the virtual machine uh, within the OS itself and just hit shut down. And that, that will shut it down. Um, the other way to do it is if you hit stop, that would initiate a, a, a soft stop within the OS. Um, and the OS, as long as you don't have anything running, should shut down gracefully as well. Uh, now, of course, this only stops the uh, compute charge component for Google. Since we have a disk attached, um, we will still be charged for the storage. In order to fully stop all charges, you have to back out. And then select this VM and hit the delete button. And that will delete uh, the virtual machine. As you can see here, it will tell you that it will also delete the boot disk. And that should stop um, any sort of charges with uh, Cloud Access Software. Okay, and I think that's, that's it. Uh, for a longer or a bigger POC, or if you want to take a look at our broken capabilities, uh, I would recommend reaching out to our sales team um, and they'll be able to assist you that way.